Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. In this update, we have the second week of the Easter event, a Skimitar Evo, a Bavet, a Galano, and here you can see we have new Easter rewards in the weekly quests, a new limited time bundle, which is a Skimitar Evo. They changed the dealership UI. They also changed out the ability to buy upgrades with Robux, and now it's with gold. So let's check it out. And here we are in game, and you can see the pack for the car is 999 Robux. And I don't really understand why they're trying to put out so many limited time cars. And I don't like when games do this. And if we head over to the Easter area, you can see the three new cars over here. And if we head up to the top of the map, you can see that there's a huge new area over here. And there's a whole bunch of buildings over here. And I think this is kind of similar to the junkyard areas. But it's nothing too special. And I definitely think all the other expansions are better than this. And in the forest area, we have another place similar to the last one. And this is what the new dealership UI looks like. But I feel like if I missed a car, it'd be almost impossible for me to tell which car I didn't buy. So I think they should give us a filter that sorts out cars that we've bought and cars we haven't bought. And that'd pretty much fix that issue for me. And here are the weekly quests, and I'm literally not able to complete these in one day, as you need 12 daily quests to be able to get this one challenge done. Which I feel like this just isn't a smart move to do. As some players like to complete it in one day, and this makes it impossible. And let's do the weekly challenges, and let's start off with the 10 parts in the USA map. For the first part, head over to this trailer delivery spot right here next to the drag strip. And right on this bridge, you'll see the part. For the next part, head over to this race right here, Turbine Turmoil. And right in this grassy area, you'll see the part. For the next one, head over to this trailer delivery inside of Homeowners Association. And right in between these houses, you'll see the part. For the next part in the desert, head over to this race right here, Half Pipe Butte. And it's right behind this ramp. For the next part, head over to this race right here, Downtown Circuit. And right under this bridge, you'll see the part. For the next part, head over to this race right here, Drag Strip. And right behind these rocks, you'll see the part. For the next part, head over to Big Tower right here. And right here, you'll see the part. The next one we have is right next to this trucking area right behind this building. The next one, you also go to a trucking area and it's right in the police station. And the last part, if you head over to Jumping Jacks right here, is right up on the highway right here. And there's so many parts, hopefully I didn't miss any of them. And with that, let's grind some of the other quests.
I've already been doing this new race a whole bunch, but it's Aerial Egg Dash, and I'll show you right now. There you go, it's kind of short. And here are the customizations you can get, starting off with this first one, which is a wind-up key. You can also get this hood scoop, this mustache. And unfortunately, I'm not able to show the wheelie bar or the pink smoke tires because I haven't got them yet. And we have this brand new car called the Galano, and I'll show you the customizations on this. And the other weekly we have is a bavette. And the last car we have is a Skimitar Evo. And these are the customizations on it. And with that being said, I think that's going to be it in this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and I'll see you in the next video.